YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin channel. Has Mike Martin's been disrespecting women and giving poor customer service in his store? Well, let's find out. Anyways, this morning I, I woke up and I got an email saying that uh, blah, blah, blah wrote a bad review or wrote a review in your store. I checked it was a two-star review. Okay. So I actually wrote back because uh, most people when they write a bad review – Usually business owners would write back and say, well, we're so sorry for the terrible experience you had here. Uh, you know, uh, hope, hopefully we could do better and blah, blah, blah. I just write back and say, please don't come back here anymore. You're not welcome. That's what I just say. In Canada, we have a right to refuse business to anybody we want to. Anybody. So I'm not trying to be a, a bad butt about this or, you know, trying to be like all like power tripper and stuff. No, I work hard. I come here. I have a good time. And, uh, uh, spend time with the community and stuff right fair enough so i found the person on facebook and they're lo and behold uh, connected to seven or eight people or nine people that i'm friends with here in town so then i i wrote and i said what 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 happened like can you explain what what i what i did um and then uh she replied in her own words sir uh, you could talk to me with respect. Your customer service sucks. Now, I'm not trying to defend myself without the other person here telling their side of the story. Hand to God on my grandfather's soul. I, like, hand to God. You don't have to – I don't care if you don't believe me, but I'm telling you from my heart. I have never disrespected a human being that ever – has ever walked into my store. Um, even drunks that come in from time to time or belligerent people, I'm nice to them. I call them sir. Every woman that has come and walked into this store and they could – they could attest to it. I call him ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Looking around. Thanks for dropping in and che checking us out. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Uh, thank you for, for um, you know, being here and stuff. And, and, you know, it's a good community. And I like to, you know, do, you know. So that's just me defending myself, right? So I have never disrespected a woman. I told this to Rosie. And Rosie got mad. She goes, who? Why? You What? You, you're so nice to everybody. What are you talking about? Like, I don't know. So I, 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 got, I got concerned. Like, am I, have, I been, have I been talking down to people or have I been disrespecting people because it's not in my culture? It's not that, it's not that I have to be nice to people because I have a business and I have to give a good presentation. I'm just naturally just free, free kind of spirited and I talk to everybody. A lot of customers come in. They tell me, you know, oh, you know, I'm getting a divorce or, or oh, this, I'm having a baby. I'm like, wow, who'd you tell? Nobody. I'm telling you first. I'm like, wow. I'm like, oh, that's that's great. And, what, you know, and a lot of people, are, you're just an easygoing guy. Nice to talk to you. You actually listen, you know. Anyways, let me get to my point. I've never disrespected anybody that's ever walked in here. I, 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 I never have. I have no reason to. Uh, no pushy sales tactics here. I don't care. There's people that have come in and said, oh, Mike, I want to get this, this, and this, and that. I'm like, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Next week, they're coming out with this, and it's going to replace this. You could keep you could buy this. It's here for sale. I'm not trying to, but this one's coming in, and it might be, even be cheaper. Oh, really, Mike? Yeah. And when I had my big business on the coast, my big store, and I did the same thing. When somebody wrote a really bad review about us or had disrespecting us, I, I would just – um right back and I would say just don't come here there's there's no you have no business coming into our store you know what I'm saying and it, you know so now let's get to the flip side of it now so I went on my cameras to check the audio I'm gonna, I gotta check this audio I, I really need to know what I said to this lady that disrespected her I went to two months back. I can't find this lady. I kept checking her face. Okay, this lady looks okay. Okay, all right. I gotta go back. I gotta. I gotta find this lady. What did I tell her so disrespectfully? What? What, did, what would I say to somebody disrespect them that come into my store? So I went back. I checked the. I can't find it. So I'm gonna get someone to. I'm gonna sit somebody back there and pay ten bucks an hour to go through all the video footage. And when they find her. To actually crank, we could crank up the audio and hear everything that's happened, that's being said in the store. So I'm gonna crank up the audio and hear what I told her that was so disrespective or disrespectful. So this is how you know I, I don't understand. So that's how concerned I am about this because I would never tell a lady ever 
talk down to somebody or disrespect somebody or call somebody out on something. You know, it's not my place. And, you know, so that's what happens in small towns is everyone takes everything way too personal. And I don't come out with these soft, dry jokes that, that seem uh, inappropriate. I don't even do that. You know, how's the weather? How are you, how you taming with the heat? Man, is it ever hot out there? What do you guys got planned for the music festival this week? What are you guys doing? Oh, that's so good. Where are you guys from? Here, put a pin on my map if you're visiting. You know, stuff like that. And, you know, it's just, I don't know if it's, people are trying to sabotage the business and stuff. But the thing is, if I ask somebody not to come, I just, I, out of respect, I just don't want them coming in my place of business. I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it. And I don't deserve it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to find the video. I'm going to work hard to find that video. I really went back up into two months. I can't find the video. The post was posted last night. So uh, about my disrespectful discussion that I had with somebody, which is, which is, which is, I, I have never disrespect. I have never. And I'm not trying to say hand to God, hand to, hand to my, to my grandfather's soul. I, I, I don't know why why people are doing. So I'm trying to find the video. I know who the person is. So we're, I'm just trying to find out what I said. Was I talking to somebody else on the phone at the time? And she thought I was talking to her, right? Could it be uh, I, I, I was commenting on something I was watching on television and not, you, you know, and maybe she thought I was talking about her, which wasn't the case, which, which could be the case. Sorry, but I don't think that's even that. So I'm just going into every little thing to find out because a lot of people go out of their way to make you look bad and those people really need to um the people that do that kind of stuff need to really you know do do, do more productive things in life be more productive be more supportive in the community you know what i'm saying i'm not saying she is i'm just saying in general right so let me know what you guys think i, I i'm just kind of upset about this i kind of you know, made me a bit upset this morning. I, I uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I checked the videos and I can't find this person in my store. So I'm gonna get someone to sit there for a couple of hours and slowly comb through it and see if they could pick up the video and go from there. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Has this happened to you before? Thanks for watching.